Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor, and my cat. So today I want to show you an interesting add-on for Studio One, which is the Audio Batch Converter. This is a super interesting tool to quickly convert any amount of audio files into a different sample rate or convert all of them from WAV to MP3 and much more. This is what I want to show you today. The Audio Batch Converter is an add-on, a so-called Studio One extension that's available either from the Presonus shop. So if I quickly go to my browser here, where I have Presonus shop open, you can find that right there. Or if you're a Studio One Plus member, then this is already included in your Studio One Plus membership, along with so many other products, everything that we do in here at Presonus Software and all the products that we're going to do in the future. So when you're at my.presonus.com and when you're logged in with your Studio One Plus membership, then under products, and Studio One add-ons, you're gonna find the audio batch converter right there and it's available for immediate download. Now, the easiest way to install the audio batch converter is actually directly from Studio One. If you go up here to Studio One and then to Studio One installation. And here you should find the audio batch converter very quickly. You can use the search if you want and then it just takes one click here on installation or activate. So once the audio batch converter is installed, you should see this new button at the top left next to the SoundCloud integration button. And that opens up the audio batch converter right away and we are ready to use it. Now, before I give you a quick overview of all of its functions, because it can do so many powerful things, all automatic in a batch. I first wanna show you how you even get files into the audio batch converter to start the process. So there's three different ways to do it. And I'm going to show you my favorite method last. So either you go just here to the start page, you click on the audio batch converter icon that I've shown you, and then you go either to your Windows Explorer or Mac OS Finder, and you just drag and drop the files in like so. The second way would be to just open your Studio One song, any song, and go to the browser and then to the files tab. That's right here. And inside of the files tab, you can then select any of the files that you want. Like for example, let's say I want to batch convert these four WAV files into FLAG files. That's just one of the many things that the batch converter can do. I can just right click here and then send them to a new audio batch converter session. And my favorite way to do it, because it's just the most intuitive and the only way I can really recommend you to do this, is you just go to your song, to the audio events you're actually using in your arrangement and that you need to convert. Like let's say you have a couple of mono files that you need to convert into stereo, merge together, or you want to apply automatic fades or insert effects like an equalizer travel boost on all of them at once in case they're sounding a bit too dark. All you need to do is go to your Studio One song, make any selection of events, and then hit copy like you would on, you know, Word or Excel or something like that. Any kind of text editing, right? That would be Command plus C on a Mac or Control plus C on Windows. It's all you need to do. And then you go from the start page of Studio One over to the audio batch converter and you just paste. And this is really by far my favorite way to do this. It's just so convenient and instant. And right after you click convert, you can go back and work with the updated versions. So now we have these two files in here and it could be a bunch more. It could be as many as you need. So let's see what the audio batch converter can do for us. And the best way to see all of the functions and to learn everything about audio batch converter is pressing F1 on your keyboard as soon as the audio batch converter is open. As you might know, the manual in Studio One is context sensitive, so you can always press F1 and it will show you the exact chapter in the manual that covers the topic that you're currently looking at. For example, now the audio batch converter is open, I hit F1 and the Studio One manual opens exactly on the audio batch converter user guide chapter and here you can read all about it to learn how to make the most of it. So now that we covered how to install the audio batch converter and how to learn everything about it, I want to show you five of my favorite things that you can do with the audio batch converter. First up is merging mono files into stereo. This is a function that a ton of audio engineers need on a daily basis. And you find that inside of the format folder. Here you see merge mono files. And the only thing you need to do is to drag and drop it here from the processes browser into the process rack like so. And this will merge any files into a left, right stereo. In this case, it doesn't make a lot of sense because I've imported two stereo files here, but 
The workflow would be like this. You just import all of your left, right mono files, then you add the merge mono files, process this rack, and you hit process. So this is a really cool function simply because it's something that so many people need. And this also works with all of your plugins too, because they're available right here from the processes browser as well. For example, let's say that both of these audio files are sounding a bit too dull. I could just go to the effects and drag the pro EQ directly into the process rack, then do a bit of a travel boost hit process and that's all I need to do. And keep in mind, this could be any amount of audio files, which can save you a ton of work. What I also absolutely love is that you can do the same thing with fade ins and outs. So let's assume that both of these files have like an annoying click and pop at the beginning or the end of the audio file because they're not cut right. Then I could just go to the volume folder here and drag in the fade into the process rack. Here I can specify the length and even the curve type which is incredibly convenient. If you're facing like more annoying clicks and pops in the recording that can't be fade out just at the beginning and the end, because they might also be happening somewhere in the middle, then the audio batch converter comes with an entire repair folder, also featuring a declicker. So you could just add the declicker here to the process rack, set the intensity and you're good to go. But even if you don't use any of these effects and plugins in the process rack, you could still use the audio batch converter for so many useful things. For example, you can batch convert the sample rate down here where it says output format. I just tick sample rate and I set the new sample rate. And as soon as I've done that, I could upsample to 96K, for example. Uh, I could just process right here and the output location would be the exact same as the source folder. Or if I don't want that, I can set it manually by unticking source folder. And this doesn't just work for a sample rate conversion, of course. You can also click, for example, where it says resolution if you want to change the bit depth of your audio files. Or you can click on type. This is very popular because this allows you to batch compress WAV files into MP3 files, for example, or into the almost lossless flag file standard, which can save a lot of hard drive space without sacrificing any audio quality. As you can see, the audio batch converter is an extremely powerful tool. Go get it right now with your Studio One Plus membership or from the Personal Shop. And thank you for watching.